water. I'm afraid I can't think of a solution right now. Based on Zeke's numbers, there will be a massive shortfall, even if we somehow reduce the tree's per capita water intake. Well, we had water shortages before, and we pushed through. If we just put our heads together and... Wait, there will be another water shortage in Sandbrook. Uh, Director Chi, I didn't say that. Oh, that's good, because that would be adverse to my tea drinking habits. If we're ever low on water again, why don't we just use the water from the Starship Rains? What? Oh! <gasps> wait, wait, wait. What? There's water in the northern ruins? Isn't this... obvious? Uh... <sighs> okay, look. The Starship Rains was a manufacturing and launch facility for aerospace vehicles. So of course there's water. Space flight takes a lot of water. They most likely even had an atmospheric water generator. I simply haven't found the reservoir yet. I thought Justice would have told you that by now. Huh? Uh... Ah, uh, what? You didn't tell me anything either. Oh, uh, I thought it was just logical. I presume that you understood this. My mistake. You, me, let's have a talk later. Is this really true? There might be a reservoir in the Starship Ruins? And they have a water maker? No. Ah, uh, so... It was a joke. No. <laughs> Not might. I'm 100% certain there is a water reservoir in that area. It might have an atmospheric water generator. They were built into every space facility during the late old world period. Uh? Well, it seems to me that the water issue might no longer be an issue. <laughs> Certainly worth this little misunderstanding. Well, we're gonna get busy then, I guess. Justice, can we get the Civil Corps out there to find this atmospheric water maker? Generator. Uh, yeah, of course we can. No problem. How about you join me for an excursion to the Starship Ruins tomorrow? Sure thing. <laughs> Always raring to go, eh? Love to go get them attitude. Well then, Director, Justice, and Builder will go with you to find this generator tomorrow. They'll be sure to protect you. I await the good news. Wow. So I'm a highly valued asset being protected by a team of specialists. Hmm. Sounds like a plan. I'll start working with Mian and Heidi on plans for us to get that water into town. You can count on me. This is so exciting. I'll be waiting for you at the entrance of the rooms tomorrow morning. Make sure you're prepared. You got it. We'll see you there. Then that's all for today's meeting. Thank you again, Professor Law and Mia, for coming all this way. If there really is water in the Starship Ruins, oh, this will change everything for Sandrock. <laughs> I saw the look on your face at the meeting. <laughs> you didn't expect to see me here, did you? Well, uh, why didn't you tell me you were coming? <laughs> I wanted to surprise you. Well... Someone got married without telling me, so consider us even. True. Anyway, the real reason I'm here is so I can help with the soil problem. I told you I'd come back, so I didn't really lie, did I? Now that you're super famous and everything, my parents weren't as worried about me coming over here. They told me that I have a lot to learn from you. <laughs> oh yeah, your mom and pa told me to make sure you take breaks, to remind you to take a vacation once in a while. Uh, okay. But I don't think they need to worry. You're married now. You have someone to take care of you, right? Come on then, fill me in. How are things going with you? I need to write back and let them know. Uh, everything is great. Sandra's getting better all the time. Yeah, I didn't expect Sandrock to start working on a whole forest this quickly. I'm glad though, it gave me an excuse to visit. You guys really are amazing. After so many challenges, one after another, you still kept your spirit high. I respect the heck out of this town. You've got to tell me all the stories later. Still, seeing my best friend working so hard to build this city, I just want to help out in some way. Well, I'm gonna go and get settled. I'll see you later, all right? Uh, we have stuff here? If I may ask, 
Director Chi. What are you doing here? I'm here to use the telegraph. As you know, I'm supposed to report in to the Alliance once every week about my progress in the Starship Runes. Although it is a pain, they are funding me and giving me on-site protection, so contractually, I can't complain. How are you progressing? I haven't seen much of you lately. It is a very big room. I'm only cataloging the most standout of technologies. I'll leave the rest to the other researchers and archaeologists. Even so, it will take me a while. It is a very big room. Well, I'm glad you showed up. If we didn't know about this new water source, huh, I don't know what else we could have done. Maybe the light is finally looking out for us. I just got back from the Starship Ruins. It was filled with such fascinating relics and science. I couldn't sleep. I just kept on absorbing. Um. Did you find uh, you're sure the water would be safe? Could it be contaminated? Sure. But most likely it's fine. I read before that the filter systems used in the old world pretty much ensured all water were clean to use. In fact, they even had procedures to reintroduce minerals back into the filtered water because it was so pure. As long as the filters are still working and the reservoir doesn't have any cracks, maybe I should go revisit my math. Uh, you're absolutely sure there's a reservoir up there. It's a space facility. Pretty much everything they need to send anything into space needs water at some point. Think about it. For the Starship, they need water to make hydrogen for the fusion reactor and oxygen for the crew. Then they also need water to make anti-hydrogen for the antimatter engine. Which, by the way, is very superlative, but I have no idea how it works. On top of that, they still need extra water for the crew for cooling down the launch structure during liftoff and even for muffling the shockwaves from the thrusters. Plus, I read it in a book. Yes. I found a quantum communicator, but I don't know how to operate it. There's a user manual, but it doesn't even say how to turn it on. It's like whomever designed this wanted me to be confounded. And lucky for them, I enjoy a good challenge. I also tested a cryo cell, but it wasn't working, which was good for me and in turn Sandrock in the end, because I didn't really have a plan for if it did work. Well, yeah, we didn't see any water down there. According to some of the base documents I found, there are several wings to this facility. You were in the Starship moon section, there are others. I'd assume the reservoir and the atmospheric water generator would be somewhere close by. Sure, I'll meet you there tomorrow. Well, then we have a plan for tomorrow. After commissions. Well, we are done here now, and we did all the commissions, right? We didn't miss any. I didn't pick up like a uh, like a project that didn't count. Yeah, four out of four. I don't know anything else we need to do. We could do with some uh, silver, actually, but I will hold off with that until we are in like desperate need of it. So um, let's just go to bed. It's gonna be winter soon, too.
Oh wait, I forgot to talk to her. Damn it. Petrified bar, I'm so tired of getting these. Uh, that we can do. I don't really want to do that, it must be something better. I'd rather do these. Uh, how do you fix the school? Yeah. Uh, the new teacher is called Jane, she's lovely. Papers. Letter from Penny. Who the hell is Penny? You remember me? I don't know. Whoever it is, is she's in Porsche. They're mentioning another cool builder here. I wonder who that could be. Ryan. Oh shit. Okay, so Ryan is now a father. Okay, stop uh, by and meet the baby sometime. Well. Letter from Dunby, letter from Ernest, and letter from Mort. What the hell is Penny though? I don't remember a Penny. Right, well I don't remember, I don't know about Penny. Make sure we have equipment, medicine, yeah, we, we have some, that's fine. We need to do this one, we need to do that one, and that's it. And then we're gonna visit them. Okay. Let's go. Thank you. I don't think we have enough m money to upgrade today. Depends on how much we get from the from the mission. And I see we do have enough uh, woods to make the planks. I should um, I should do that. There we go. Then this way. I do wonder why he's taking so long for that uh, weapon we gave him. He said 10 15 days. I mean, it must be over 20 days by now and more, even. Must be close to a month. So, three planks. But I think we'll go with uh, three wooden boards first. And then the planks. Okay, done. Now we need to wait. Don't worry, I'm gonna be fine.
it's gonna be done in one and a half hours. Well, there is no point for us to go into town anyway, because... Because we uh, still need to come back, and the time will be paused if we go to Rian and uh, Dunby. So we just need to wait anyway. See that I've stored stuff in here that I shouldn't have stored. Oh well, never mind. Thank you. Thank you. That's all the way at the moisture farm, isn't it? Well, then we're gonna do that last because we're heading there anyway. Do we have three missions? Yeah. Let's go with this one then. Let's say hello to the new uh, kid in town. Name is uh, Linden. Hmm. 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 Let's come inside. Okay, 
All right, yes, uh, okay. Hmm? I, I can't interact. Oh, well, we came here. <laughs> I cannot even say congratulations. Hmm. Well, that would be my... Uh, way of saying congratulations. Oh well. That was way faster than I thought. Nope. So we need 11,000 more. There, partner. I reckon I secured this side early, but it seems like Director Chi still got here before me. I arrived at precisely 3.02 a.m. I'm glad you're here. Now we can get started. According to the documents, the entrance to another section of the base is around here. I have narrowed it down as far as humanly possible by walking the distance from the starship wing. I'm certain this is the section that houses the water reservoir. We must now excavate to reveal the entrance. Excavate? As in did. Dang, that wasn't in the mission description. Director, do you know how far down we have to go? No, just dig until we hit metal. So you could be very far down. Yeah, all right. Let's get to it. If we work together, we're going to find it in no time at all. Sure. Okay, partner. Pick a spot that looks appealing and start digging. Wait, it was me? Well, shouldn't he do it? Uh, right, search for the entrance. Well, I'm gonna search up here because this one seems to be, uh, well, furthest away. That is uh, ceramics, right? Let's grab that. Promising. Great job. Looks like you found it. Let me just head in and see. Whoa. Oh, dear partner. I know you're excited, but uh, you ain't exactly known for your fighting skills. I reckon me and the builder better head on down first to see what the deal is. Ready? Did you bring, you know, medicine, weapons, usual? Uh, yes. Oh, I was supposed to bring that myself. Look at that. There it is. That's it. Look at that. It's far larger than I thought. And that tank must be the reservoir. The machine attached to it must be the atmospheric water generator. Wow. Breathe, Chi. Breathe. Need a closer look. 
I must go. Rick, wait, what have you... Ah, oh, crud. Come on, we better catch up with him. That guy has a heck of a brain, but in a fight, well... Let's just make sure we're there. It's gonna be fine. Well, he, he might run into trouble, but we're gonna find out soon. I'm not sure if there is anything new here, if it's the same uh, stuff. Then we're just gonna focus on the mission. Director, what are you doing? Get to cover. Dang, he's in his own world now. Well, Builder, you know what to do. Basis. At any moment, one to five percent of the atmosphere is made of water vapor. The atmospheric water generator takes advantage of this resource, provides enough to serve the fabrication facility and the launch center. Fascinating! So a single atmospheric generator can be that powerful? Hey, Director G! Can you hear me? Hmm? Oh, you're here too. It's a real shame. This is just another tourist pamphlet. It doesn't tell me what I want to know. Oh, look around. I expected the combat AIs to still be functional, <laughs> but they appear to be destroyed. Uh, they almost got you. Director, you gotta be more careful. You can't just stop and read everything you see. If it weren't for me and the builder, you'd be robot toast right about now. I'm sorry. I'll try to be more careful next time. New scientific information is accelerating. I finished reading everything here anyway. Although I didn't find any technical data, I found out that the generator in this facility can produce at least 100 tons of water per day. Holy yak mill! 100 tons! Is it still working? It doesn't look damaged. We need to find the control room for the generator. Then we'll know for sure. Alright, well, there is a lot of water in there, that's for sure.
God, stop, stop doing this. this way. This should be the control room. I'm going to look at the controls. Can you please look around for any documentation? What about me, Director? How can I help? I don't particularly have faith in your ability to <laughs> No. Shucks. I mean, at least you're honest. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, uh, yeah. The email records. Control uh, room work log. I checked the generator, it seems to be intact. I'm unclear as to whether the rest of the system is still in working condition. Let me see the logs. Perhaps there is a record of system integrity. Generator repaired. Maintenance has updated to automatic repair units. Troubleshooting will be automatically repeated at regular intervals. Good, it seems the system has an automatic maintenance system. I'll try restarting it. Welcome to the Olympus 3000 water generation system. Troubleshooting will begin shortly. Troubleshooting complete. System integrity 100%. All systems functional. Water generation engaged. What's so, up? It's water flowing. It's working. The glory of science. Sandro is saved. That seems to be the case. Yay for us. To be clear, this is an almost infinite supply of water. As long as the machine is running. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head on back and tell the mayor the good news. Uh, I want to look around. Gotcha. Let me know when you're ready. There's a room here, for example. Heavily guarded, a chest at the back. Could be promising. done here then I found the water and everything I would like to request the Civil Corps' help in clearing the entrances to the Starship rings. It would be easier for me when I come back for further research expeditions. Good thinking. Now that our main source of water would be from here, 
Gotta make it more accessible, right? Thanks for your hard work today. I'm gonna take the director and go report this to Mayor Trudy. We'll see what she wants to do next. You take it easy now. Right here. Uh, Rainbow Dinosaur Jacket. Uh, I assume that is better than the one I have. Because we did compare these, but it wasn't a huge difference. So that's why I'm uh, sticking to what I have, though. But I do want the one of 55. How close are we? We are kind of... But XP is not my main concern. It's kind of easy to get. I could, I could just... Um, uh, well, well, I could just burn money. If I, if I don't have anything to spend on, I could just go down in the mines and smash dirt. Until I'm uh, leveling up. There was something I had in mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I went in here. That's that one, yeah. Same. Oh, wait, that one. Okay. Well, I'm gonna stick with that. Anything new here? Ah, uh, just that, okay. Okay. Uh, well, let's uh, go back. I think we can go to bed. Inside here, she is in here. Hmm? Be seeing ya. told me that the upgrade is mostly done. It won't be long until the house is ready. And you've reminded me. Now is about the time when my parents should begin their journey from Barnarok. I'll write them today. I'll let you know when that is. We can meet them at the train station and take them to their wonderful new home. Oh, I'm so excited. Morning. Time to start off. Mm -hmm. See ya. Right. Did you rest well last oh. night? You have a mission? Well, I have some for you. Thanks. But she does have a mission, though. Morning. Time to start off the day. How was your night? I heard that stress can negatively affect chances of getting pregnant. Yoga and meditation are apparently high. Yeah, well, that was no, not an issue. But yeah, I cannot pick up uh, the mission from her. So, I don't know. Maybe we need to go outside. Let's grab that. Go in here, through them. Uh, good work. It tells me it's uh, running capacity. Maybe milestone. Uh, okay, fireside tomorrow morning. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. And uh, let's just grab some of these. I don't really want to go down and smash down trees. But it is the most profitable, th I think. Uh, 700. Do we have anything more than 700? Nope. I'm going for that too. And these. Don't have a choice.
Oi. Hello there. Catch you later. Has it, is it done testing out the food, by the way? It is. So it loves uh, tomatoes. So uh, we need um, 21 mushrooms and 21 tomato. So uh, add that with 7. It will be 8. And then the rest, tomato. There we go. Now you have some food you like. And we're gonna go and smash down some uh, trees. Well, maybe not smash them down, but... Let's get out here. We need this wood anyway. So I'm just gonna grab all the trees over here. It will be uh, for the best. Alright, there we go. Sorry about that. My back is playing up quite a lot there. So, petrified wood. It doesn't drop from these, but it does, it does drop from uh, the big one. And I think we have like three trees like that here. Three or four. Let's just grab all of this at the same time. Petrified wood in total. We have nine right now. Ten now. Eleven. Twelve. Oh, wait, oh, that was just a normal uh, dead wood. There should be uh, one more tree or two more trees. One. Alright, there we go. Let's go uh, home. So the fire side is tomorrow.
so one board and five sticks. faster than that. There we go. Also, I don't know if the ad got cancelled. Let's go up and find out. First try. hand everything in. Planes. I thought, yeah, I thought we had one more. Oh, no. Morley, come on. I'm just gonna do it like that. We are out of that too. I think I'm out of commission tokens as well, or, or well, Civic Corps uh, tokens. Thank you. Pick that one up. I'm so delighted. Might need to wait. It might be about the parents. But I'm gonna be moving in over there. Oh well. We're gonna need to wait with that. Let's go to bed. Tomorrow we can upgrade the yard, I think. Unless we have like a discount now. I'm not sure what's triggering in that though. Let's see. Oh, well. We need one more day. So one more day it will be.
I can barely keep my eyes open. Will you go to bed with me? I'm sorry for calling everyone here so early in the morning, but I'm going to talk about something very important today. So thank you for coming. It's been a wild ride up to this point for our little town, huh? First, we got the sandstorms, then a shortage of water, then of food, then people. We had enemies within and empires without. Maybe even sprinkle some bandits in there for good measure. But we survived them all, like the proud sand rockers we are. And things are looking up. We defeated Duvos, we got Logan back, we got a new school. We even got water from Portia. But still, there's always that something in the back of our minds. The lack of water. Martel's oasis isn't getting any fuller. And it's not like Portia's water is free. The long-term development of Sandrock and reforestation felt distant, unachievable even. And then, our own Director Chi came through with a ray of hope. Some sort of robot. Some sort of robot. Are you going to fly water from Portia now? Come on. Gonna fly what? Hang in here. All right. I won't keep y'all in suspense. Director Chi found a huge reservoir with its own water generator in the northern ruins. This relic machine can provide us with a substantial amount of water, enough to serve Sandrock for generations to come. Justice and Builder bravely accompanied the director to investigate the machine. They found it to be in perfect working order. Following their confirmations, Commissioner Wei and Heidi are now working on a plan to divert the water into town. Soon, everyone will have an endless supply of water. Oh, that's good. This Go get this up, come is on. amazing. Let's hang in here. Water? Are my ears that means trees. Right? You are oh, so of trees. They are Thousands more. even. That's right. Oh, I, I know everyone's excited. I haven't been able to sleep so well myself. Now, our vision, it's like a miracle. All these years, something that seemed so far away, it's finally within reach. Everything we discussed seemed like such fantasy. It's just a pipe dream. But now, we really have the chance to make these dreams come true. Yeah. You did it, Fruits. <laughs> Sandrock is my home now. <clears throat> we will continue on, as we always have, in making Sandrock a better place. We can return Sandrock to what it should be, in the memory of Martel and many others who gave their lives for us. For <laughs> and never forget to... Consider <laughs> Member of the Commerce Guild, uh, please stay a moment. All right. Well, this is it, folks. We're about to endeavor on the most important project we've ever done here in Sandra. We are counting on you all. Heidi will speak more about the details. Sure thing, Trudy. While you were checking out the generator, Commissioner Wei and I went over a feasibility plan to bring in the water from the north. Later, I double-checked with Director Chi as well. Turns out, a couple of things are working in our favor, for once. First, the reservoir is located at a higher elevation, meaning it'll take less energy to transfer the water to down here. Second, since Mason and Yan already did us the work of connecting the auxiliary tank and sand rock storage to the oasis, all we have to do is connect the northern reservoir to the auxiliary tank and the water will be in our water system. So. Our plan is to install pumps onto the northern reservoir, then install pipes and supports going into town. On top of this, Trudy has also requested that we add another pipe going to the outback to connect with the irrigation tower. That's about it. Director Chi has already provided me with the diagrams for the water pump, water division pipes, right. and pipe support. He was in a hurry to get back to his research. Anyway, here they are. Do you think it can be done? This is so important to us. Thank you for the details, Heidi. And 
no worries, Mayor Trudy. It will be done. Now, how about this? The builder and Mian can each handle a section of the pipeline. The builder can construct the north-south route into town. Mian can do the east-west route to the outback. I'll do the internal piping leading to the sand rock storage. <laughs> I'll just construct it all. <laughs> That's a good one. Nah, don't worry. We're not a team if we don't help each other. The rest of us will do our parts as well. But I need the money. Now, come on. Let's all pitch in together and all give it our all. Install them on location when you're done. Yeah, we've got this. Thank you all. I'm looking forward to the completion. In the meantime, I'll ask our town folk to donate anything they can to support your efforts. All right, we have a plan. inside again hmm. okay well um let's see he needs titanium alloy easy uh a plate easy oh hello that's some decent amount of money an industrial grinding tables go for that too and we go for this right well there's only one thing we need to do here then right two things actually that one and uh, that one. The plate will be easy. And we need... Um, manganese steel gears. Two of them. We get them from here, don't we? make five that will save us some time further down the road and uh, now we just wait about an hour or something So is it already done baking? Impossible. No, it's not done baking. I should have known if it was something like that. So now that one is done, let's go and make it industrial grinding table. Industrial grinding table, yeah. Assemble. And now we wait for the plate. And once these are done, we will upgrade the table. Which I probably can do before I even get the, the plate for some reason. done and now we can take a look at this one 
So, how much money did we get? 12,000 for that. Pretty good, okay. So, we need a pumping pipe. Two of them. That requires rubber ring. Oh. How many rubber ring? Four? It's four for one. I got two. I don't remember if you make uh, four or two. I think you make two. In that case, I need to make three. Well, um, since uh, like that, I'm just gonna make ten. I will skip that. Filtration core, that's a bigger problem. Actually, no, it's not. Uh, I need four copper pipes. And uh, I need nine vol. Like that. And we need, uh, let's see here, three aluminum alloy plates. About two hours. And I can't really see what else we need until, uh, apart from composite fiber rods, four of them. There. Now things are on queue. Uh, I cannot see what else we need. I need to make the large water pump first. Or uh, diversion pipes. Once we finish one of these, then uh, I can see what else we need. Or actually, I can see it in here. Uh, what's it called? The water pipe bracket, it's called. Uh, water pipe bracket. Okay, we have the rest for this. So that's all we need. Right, well uh, then uh, it's just waiting now. It's just waiting. Uh, can I hand in these while we are at it? Yeah, I, I think I will hand in that while we are waiting. Hello there. I heard that stress. Still have a quest. Huh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is it going to be winter tomorrow? Okay, 
Uh, let's make a large water pump. And then we're gonna grab this. We need uh, three diversion pipes. And a water pipe bracket. Done. Right, we're done. So, where does this need to be? Uh, moisture farm? everything over here Majestic sight. Oh, tell me this isn't a dream. I believe in Sandro. <laughs> yes, back in business. Builder, Commissioner Way, Neon. I don't even know how to thank you. Well, the least we could do, Mayor Trudy. Honestly, we're lucky to have the Builder and Neon. Heck, <laughs> all I can say is we got the best Builder team in the free cities. Commissioner, you're embarrassing me. Well, I feel like this calls for a water ceremony tomorrow. And Builder, since you've been instrumental in the discovery and construction of this project, how about you come and cut the ribbon? Oh, I, I am, I'm honored. Oh, I'm so excited. Well, I'll see you all in the morning. I'm going to go and spread the word. I have no idea how I even got up here. How do I get down? Ah, well, let's go, Merle. We will um, head back. Uh, there's some scrap around here. What kind of is this? Titanium, isn't it? That's titanium. Titanium. There's a lot of titanium scrap here. That's no scrap. No, it's fishing. More titanium. All right. Well, now we know where to find uh, a bunch of that. Not that we need it. Still gonna pick it up.
Did you rest well last night? Dearest, I'd like to go for a walk. Clear my thoughts. Won't you join me? Uh, no problem. Dearest, thank you. You're c Come on. Let's go for a walk. Somewhere. I don't know. So, uh, where you want to go for a walk? Oh, yeah, I came to the station over there. Alright, that's new. Wait, what's that? Nia wants to talk to us. Well, Nia can wait. Nia can wait. She will be fine. Do I need to go and walk, Miles? Hey, Mira, where, where, where are we going? take a walk somewhere specific I do <laughs> okay let's go there I think we need to call in stupid horse Come on, let's go. of day-to-day -day life. I wouldn't have it any other way. Do you want to sit with me a while and watch the snowfall? I, I, I don't know. You might... Do I need to make a jacket for you? You're gonna freeze to death. Still can take... Um... Oh, so I can't take her mish. Okay, we well, she just then snapped out of here. Fair enough. Uh, stupid horse is, uh, yeah, not a surprise. That means really struggling that horse. stuff to do. Hey Sandy, you're fabulous. You know that? You spend all 
day walking around the hot desert to help others. You're as sand rocker as they come. Who's a good camel? Who's... Ah! Oh. Uh, so you met Sandy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's so great. I'd never expect that strapping a loudspeaker to a camel could make such an endearing mascot. It's just that I've never had the chance to see a camel up close. I know I came last time, but it was all in such a rush. They're so unique. We don't have anything like them in Highwind. Say, since you're here... Yeah? Can you take me camel riding today, please? Uh, okay, sure, but I have stuff to do. <laughs> yes! You're the best! I can't wait! <laughs> you know, this kind of reminds me of when we were young. I don't really remember when you fell off that horse. Hey! That was the first time I rode one, thank you very much. It's not like we had much opportunity to practice in high wind. Anyway, let's go. I want to go sand painting and sand running. It's like the sand rock specialty, right? Come on! Uh oh, I cannot do anything. I think the game has um, sort of soft lock, though, if anything. Cannot do anything. I'm, I'm just stuck like this. I see we have a camel. That is not, that is not mine. That much I do know. Oh. That's she doesn't have a mission anymore. Could that have been a bug? 